a particle having a charge of 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb it is fixed in a vertical wall okay a second particle b of mass okay let's write what is given first so question says the particle a a has charge so let me write here q a that is equals to 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb it is fixed in a vertical wall we will see that diagram later on we'll make a diagram later on a second particle b of uh, mass so mass of b particle is given here as 100 grams so let me convert here only 10 to the power minus 3 kgs right uh, having equal charge equal charge means qb and qa so i am just writing here only it is equal to qb correct uh, is uh, suspended by a silk thread of length length of the thread is 30 centimeter okay from the wall the point of suspension okay is 30 centimeter above the particle a okay fine point of suspension is okay 30 centimeter above the particle a okay so let's try to draw the diagram let's say this is our any particle a pay attention on the diagram because it will help you to understand the question in a better way if this is any point a okay where the particle a is placed right okay and charge is how much 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 at this point from here okay the question is saying the point of suspension is 30 centimeter above the particle a so from here let's say this is the point of suspension okay here this is how much separation i'll explain this once again once the diagram is complete okay this is our 30 centimeter i'm writing for the time being centimeter only later we will convert it into the standard units okay so this is any point p this point p is the point of suspension right okay Let's now read the question once again. A particle A having a charge of this much is fixed in a vertical wall. So this is our vertical wall, right? Okay, vertical wall, any wall. Imagine any wall in your room. Second particle B of mass 100 grams and having equal charges suspended by a silk thread by a length of 30 centimeter. Silk thread of a length 30 centimeters, which is any point here. Okay, and this is our B, let's say. This is our particle B. And what's the this length of this thread? 30 centimeter from the wall. 30 centimeter from this wall. The point of suspension is 30 centimeter about. So this is our point of suspension, right? Okay. Now what is this angle? This angle, let's assume this is angle theta. Correct. Okay, great. If this is angle theta, this is particle B. Okay. So let's see what are the forces. Okay, let me just make it little above so that we can understand it better okay here so, okay here it is so b here okay so this is our any particle okay b suspended here now what are the forces acting on b let's see okay question says find the angle of the thread with the vertical when it stays in equilibrium equilibrium means net force is zero you have to find the angle theta correct so b let's see what are the forces acting on b first of all weight which is acting downward parallel to ap okay and this weight will be parallel to ap mg downward here correct okay this is the first force second force is tension we have just now seen in the previous questions so tension we know that if there is a thread which is like this then there will be a tension along this direction t correct second force third is electro electric force or electrostatic force which is our in this direction along the line joining so let me write here this is force which force f electric force these are the forces acting on this correct okay okay great so if this is our okay theta this is 30 centimeter this is 30 okay now let's say first of all okay uh, theta okay and if ap is equals to pb if ap is equals to pb then this angle will be equals to this angle okay let's say these two angles are angle x correct so let's start with the very basic concepts of triangle. Triangle PAB. PAB, correct? If I triangle is PAB in this one, uh, what will be our uh, angle sum property? Theta plus x plus x is equals to 180. Sir, why you took both of them as x? Because PA is equals to PB. Angle opposite to equal sides are equal. So right, both will be equal. So, what will be x? 2x is equals to 180 minus theta. And x will be 90 minus theta by 2. I hope this is clear. Okay. 
So our x angle is, this is our very important thing. Okay, so I'm just writing, instead of writing here x, I am writing here 90 minus theta by 2. 90, both the angles, theta by 2. This will be 90 minus theta by 2, correct? Now let's imagine or let's draw a straight line anywhere, okay, such that PB is perpendicular to that. Um, so imagine this line, our, this line is, we are drawing, we are constructing, okay, a line, uh, let's call it as uh, XY, capital XY, okay, this XY is a line which is perpendicular to PB, which means this angle is how much? This is our 90 degree, correct? So if this is 90 degree, now this is construction, we can imagine such a line, okay, because we will get a line in such a way that PB will be perpendicular to that line. So XY, PB is perpendicular, so that is 90. Now if that is 90 and this is 90 minus theta by 2, what can you say about this angle? Obviously this will be theta by 2, right? This angle will be theta by 2, how? See, in a linear pair, the sum of this angle, 90 degree, or let me write it for you simply here 90 degree plus 90 minus theta by 2 okay plus theta by 2 then only it will give you 180 right because theta by 2 theta by 2 will cancel out or you can call it as y and evaluate it you will get theta by 2 correct let me repeat again this whole angle over here this is 180 degree so if this is 90 and that is 90 minus theta by 2 then this must be theta by 2 and if this is theta by 2, then be very careful, this angle will be also theta by 2, that is vertically opposite angles. I hope this is clear, okay? Angles are very important here, then only we can understand our basic concepts. Great. So, we are done with the angles now, okay? So, we are done with the angles. Now, let's go concentrate our, on our forces, okay? Why? Because the question is saying, find the angle of the thread for which it is in equilibrium. So, which angle you have to find? Theta. That's our very important part. So, we have to find theta for which this is in equilibrium. So, we have considered all the angles. Now, we will focus on forces because the other part of the question is saying equilibrium. Equilibrium means force equilibrium, right? So, first of all, let's take our components here, okay? So, what's the component of this force along this x-axis, okay? Bx, okay? So, first of all, Let's see the component of force F along BX. Let me remind you once again, the component will be F cos theta by 2. Let me repeat again, component of this force F along X, this BX will be F cos theta by 2, correct? And what will be the component of MG? Okay, see MG, it is vertically downward, right? So, if it is vertically downward, then our uh, angle here will be how much? Let's find this angle also, okay? So, if this is theta by 2 and this is vertically downward, then this will be 90 minus theta. Why it will be 90 minus theta? Because if I draw here, if I draw here like this, okay? Then we know that this angle theta and this theta will be what? our uh, corresponding angles, right? And if it is corresponding angles, okay, then you can add 90 minus theta by 2 and theta by 2 and theta, okay? And 90 minus theta, this will give you 180. Let me repeat again. If we construct, we, we if we join here, this P to B to, let's say, Y, or Y we have already taken, so let's say T. So this PT along this line PT, we know that this angle theta will be corresponding angle to this theta and that's make it 90 minus theta, right? So our F cos theta by 2, this must be equal to our component, which one? Along, if F cos, where is F cos theta by 2? It will be along this direction, right? This must be equal to the component of MG along Y. So what is that? MG cos 90 minus theta, correct? Okay, now what is mg cos 90 minus theta? We know that cos 90 minus theta is sin theta. So it will be mg sin theta, correct? And that is f cos theta by 2. Now sin theta, mg sin theta is nothing but, let's use half angle formula, 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2, correct? That is f cos 
theta by 2. I hope this is clear. Now let's cancel out cos theta by 2 both the sides. So cancelling out cos theta by 2 both the sides, we will be left with f equals to 2mg sin theta by 2. Correct? So this is our main equation number 1. Okay, we will put here the values later on. But uh, let's find first what is the force. Okay, so let's figure out our force. So force, magnitude of force will be, I am writing here. So electric force F between the two charges will be K, which is our uh, constant, Coulomb's constant into Q1, Q2 upon separation R. This is our Coulomb's law. So what is our K value here? K value here is 9 into 10 to the power 9. Charge, what is the charge on A? That is 5 into 10 to the power minus 7. Charge on B, same as charge on A, 5 into 10 to the power minus 7. And what's the separation? Separation is, sir, AB. Okay. Do we have AB? No. So, we will have to first find AB. Clear? So, AB we can find by using our law of cosines from triangles. Okay. What is law of cosines? Let me do it here. Okay. So, that I'll erase later on. So, first of all, if you're given with any triangle here, okay, with this angle theta, and this is our C, this is A, this is B. Pay attention. C square will be always equals to A square plus B square, okay, minus 2AB cos theta. Correct? Okay. Now, uh, uh, if A and B are equal, like in this situation, our AP and PB are equal, 30 centimeter each, okay. So, if A and B are equal, this will become 2A square minus 2A square cos theta. Correct? And this will give you 2a square common out 1 minus cos theta, correct? And 1 minus cos theta is nothing but 2a, uh, 2a square into 2 sin square theta by 2, correct? Half angle formula. So this will give you 4a square sin square theta by 2, correct? That is our c square. Or c will be equals to root of this thing, which is nothing but 2a sin theta by 2, okay? So from there, we can simply use this angle formula okay law of cosines in case if you don't know or you have not understood go through it once again okay so i'm removing this this is we will directly use here this is law of cosines for triangles okay so let's see when do we use law of cosines if one angle and two sides are given so what we got from law of cosines okay this is our equation two let's figure out our a b so a b will be equals to nothing but two times okay two times p a P A, A P, let's write, A P sin theta by 2, okay? A P is 30 centimeter, correct? So, let me write here 2 into uh, 30 or let me directly put it there or 2 into 30 into 10 to the power minus 2 into sin theta by 2, correct? This will be your value, okay? Now, let's uh, substitute in F. So, F will become equals to 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 7 whole divided by AB, which is how much? Uh, 60 into 10 to the power minus 2 into sin theta by 2, correct? Now, let's substitute it here in equation 1, okay? So, if you substitute here, what is our F? F uh, will be equals to, this. so we can uh, cross multiply here. Now, okay, let's substitute only, then we will simplify 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 5, 5 is 25 into 10 to the power minus 14, whole divided by 60. So, 6 into 10 to the power minus 1 into sine theta, correct, by 2, equals to 2 mg. What's the weight? M, mass of the object, M is given as 100. So, 100, 2 into 100 grams, so 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.8 into sin theta by 2. I hope this is clear, okay? I have done a small mistake here. It's AB square over here, right? So, here it will be, uh, when you'll put here, it will be square of this whole thing, correct? So, this will become square over here, okay? Because F is equals to KQ1, Q2 by R square, okay? So, this will be square and when you expand it, it will give you 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 14 whole divided by uh, 636 into 10 to the power minus 2 into sine square theta by 2 equals to uh, 200 or let's remove the uh, zeros 2 into 10 to the power minus 1 into 9.8 into sine theta by 2 correct so let's take everything on the other side so it will become sine cube theta okay let me use a different color so that we can highlight 
our angle so sine cube theta by 2 that will be equals to how much let's cross multiply so this will be 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 14 whole divided by uh, 36 into 272 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.8 okay and when you uh, simplify it okay you will get approximately sine cube theta by 2 is equals to 0 0.0032 and using a calculator you can figure out our angle theta which is equals to nearly 17 degree that's our complete answer